All right, so today we have our Hazard 4 uh, bag. We're going to do a, a quick just overview and a quick review of, of how I like to, to set my things up in this. Um, this bag, I've, I've delayed bringing this out because I have tried to uh, take this as on, on many different um, deployments or activations or just different um, events going on that I, I can find that just to, just to get a good overview of, of how it how it works how I have it set up um, so the outside is pretty good uh, there's plenty of, of molly space there's molly here there's molly on the bottom and there's actually molly here in the front where this velcro pat patches um, so but there's also velcro that you can put whatever you want I like to have my uh, press chameleon so my combat press chameleon on there uh, other than that let's just dive right in so on the outside there's you can see that there's plenty of pockets there's pockets here that you can keep different uh, batteries memory cards what, whatever you need um, I've got battery memory card I usually keep maybe a pen maybe a, a uh, notepad or whatever I need to in here so on the side is another just general pocket you can carry whatever you need to in here uh, on the bottom here I have the jelly roll okay uh, hazard 4 calls this their jelly roll and as you can see 7200 fits in there really really well really nicely so that's that's what I have in there that's usually what I carry in, in the jelly roll um, the jelly roll is very easily removed it's attached by Molly and then there's a retention strap right here that you don't have to use a retention strap for this but um, I just just like using it it is attached just by Molly on the back though um, there is a pocket right here. It is. Uh, they say it's for a tablet, but the the most tablet you're going to get in there is an iPad Mini. It fits pretty well. I guess you could, if you wanted to, you could put um, documents there or maps, uh, whatever you want. If depending on what you're wearing. Uh, so so from top top to bottom. After that. You have a, uh, a hard, it's a hard pouch. Um, me personally, I usually keep uh, just a uh, cleaning cloth in here because it's, uh, it's for me it's quick access and it's secure. But uh, I mean, you could you could probably fit whatever whatever you want batteries. Uh, I mean, borderline pancake lenses, uh, maybe 50 millimeter, maybe. All right, the top, how I have this set up. There is a, a top access, so if you can see that there, there's top access in here. I've just been carrying anything that I want. The way that I do have this set up, I can I can take another camera if I wanted to. So this is just my my play camera. This is not the camera that I shoot every day with or, or take in this bag, but it you can see very small, fits in there nicely. You can zip it up. Um, I am using a D850 with a battery grip in this bag, and, and I will say that it does not interface very well. The bigger cameras and the flagship cameras don't interface with this with this bag very well. And I'll, I'll show you the reason here right now, okay? The bag came with several different... Um, just spacers and protection but this this is the camera so I mean some 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 people like to, to travel with their cameras with the lenses attached me personally I don't I like to have them stowed so it that's that's the best way that I found to carry the d850 with the grip this bag will fit the d850 or a full frame bigger uh, frame camera without a grip very very well um, before I was I, I tried it out I took the grip off and I shoved it in one of these pockets and I was able to fit the d850 with a lens up here um, but as far as with the battery grip that's that's the best way that I found to, to do it just slide in there 
Uh, there's plenty of room for for smaller lenses, for. But yeah, I mean, it, if you get any any kind of bigger lenses than that, you're going to start having uh, problems finding space for them. Uh, but it's it's not a not a bad bag. Uh, the the freelance bag is a it's a six liter. Uh, hazard four bag they do make one that's a little bit bigger it's it's between eight and nine liters um, it's it's squared off and it's it's just bigger I have not seen or tried that bag I'd be willing to uh, to try it out if one day if if I, I get the opportunity um, so there are a couple issues that I've found and uh, one of them is how you, the bag is worn so when it's slung, it's obviously as a sling bag. The the bag tends to want to rotate to the front and rotate down. Um, it's not very comfortable, and it kind of gets in the way. It's kind of awkward, especially if you have it any any loose. Um, it will stay a lot more when it's cinched down, uh, pretty tight on your chest. But other than that, it's it can be kind of just awkward. Um, that's another reason why I like running the jelly roll on the bottom versus the side because it puts more weight on the bottom and it just feels like a regular backpack would to me. Um, I've noticed that the, a lot of the weight, surprisingly, is more up, so it wants to come down on your body a little bit more. Uh, but it does have a side strap to where you can connect to the side right here and have a little bit more security that way um, it does work a lot but again you have to it has to be cinched down really really tight if you're wearing any kind of plate carrier body armor it's going to be very very difficult uh, I found that it's just purely uncomfortable with the the plate carrier or any kind of armor that you might be wearing um, the hazard 4 does have a quick release but a locking quick release so it is very very nice so here I can unbuckle it and then rebuckle it and then if I switch it over to lock it I, it physically prevents me from pressing this so it's very very secure um, so that's that's very good on them one thing that I absolutely hate and don't like about this bag is this this is hazard 4's d-ring slash camera security system I use it just purely as a pull D-ring to cinch this bag down. There is a chuck that you can buy or a little screw that you can buy extra. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them on the website. They're about 2 or $3. Um, it screws into the hard mounting points on your camera or lenses. It's uh, the quarter inch, just standard quarter inch uh, hard point screw. This attachment makes carrying the camera very very difficult and very awkward um, you can adjust it up depending on what your needs are but every time you're taking the bag on and off on and off I found that I loosen this so if it's up any higher if this is adjusted up any higher it, it just defeats that purpose I found that wearing my black rapid strap on the opposite side so it's kind of like an X cross is a way better system um, so this is just, was just a, a kind of a kind of I can see it kind of like an extra that they threw in here, but I would not rely on this to to maintain my camera at all. Um, and it also I found that it comes it comes loose in your camera because there's no rubber gasket or grommet after you put the the screw in. It's just strictly connected directly to your camera, and it to me it just doesn't feel secure. So I would refrain from that if, if that's something that you, you're looking at. Um, it's not a really that great of a system. I would go with something a little bit more robust and secure, specifically made for that, like the Black Rapid Strap. And there's other manufacturers of camera straps, crossbody camera straps, that are perfectly fine. Um, but other than that, it's not a bad, bad little bag. It's fairly expensive. Uh, I bought this one for about 180 bucks. You can find them from anywhere from 180 to 210, um, depending on what website you go on. But other than that, I wanted something that was small and compact and that I could wear 
and carry all of my stuff when going on missions, deployments, or whatever I needed to do to either um, do PIO stuff or to document scenes for work, whatever I needed to do. Um, other than that, it's really, really well padded. Um, so it's pretty thick padding. So none of your stuff's going to get dropped. If, it, if you drop the bag, nothing's going to come out severely damaged. Um, I still would refrain from dropping any kind of camera equipment or a camera bag. But other than that, um, I would I would say this is definitely something worth looking at, especially if you're in the tactical camera kind of environment or want to get in on the tactical kind of side of things uh, photography-wise. Uh, other than that, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, please support the channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. Also, uh, support the Patreon. Uh, as soon as we get a lot of or s some some members of the Patreon, we will be posting uh, just random thoughts, message boards, what whatever we need. But uh, the Patreon's kind of slow right now. I would like y'all to help pick that up a little bit. It supports me. It supports the channel. It also uh, lets me go out and do different things and buy different stuff because. I'm not sponsored by anyone. All of my stuff is uh, purchased by me for me. Um, like again, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, appreciate y'all support. Um, some advice for the end of the video is uh, put a smile on, even if you're having a bad day. That smile could make somebody else's day that much better. Um, a smile goes a long way in this world, especially with all the, the things going on and all the bad news that you see on TV. So, remember to smile, even if you're having a bad day. It can make somebody else's day that much better. Y'all stay safe. Y'all have a good night.